Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about Synology NAS and how to convert your RAID 1 into a RAID 5. Now let's get it out of the way straight away. This is not going to be a tough video. It's actually surprisingly easy and I'm sure 70 or 80 percent of the people watching this video already know the steps that I'm going to show you. The difference is that I'm going to be showing it happening in real time and therefore you'll get some idea what will happen on your system when you do this with your data, your storage pool and therefore you'll a lot of you are watching this video just to see the outcome and I get that but for now I'm going to talk you through the steps on how to convert this RAID 1 environment that I have on this Synology NAS into a RAID 5 by adding OneDrive into that array. Now I've mentioned it in other videos and I know it seems incredibly you know soft and you know you hear it all the time but do me a favor and have your data backed up before you do this. This is not a slight against any hard, hard drive manufacturer, this is not an insult to Synology themselves but the operation you're about to commit is going to take time. It can take up to 24 hours in some cases based on the capacity of the drives you're using and the speed at which your system can work and the CPU inside. The result being that if something happens in the meantime, such as a power cut, someone accidentally tripping on a power cable or more, then the result will be that in the middle of this RAID rebuild, you could potentially lose all of your data. So once again, please, please, please make sure you have your data backed up somewhere before, or at least the key data, before you proceed with any action like this. Okay, so let's move forward. The first thing you need to do is head into the storage manager. It's that option right there. And once you open it up, you're looking at the storage manager. As you can see, I've got a RAID 1 array here, and you can see two disks down here showing the drives in the RAID 1 array, the storage pool 1. If we go into the storage pool one, we can see these two drives, and you can also see that I've got a spare drive inside this system. I've kept this drive inside here to be utilized in the uh, for this particular array today. And what I'm going to be doing is converting these RAID 1 disks in this storage pool into an entire RAID 1, RAID 5 configuration. So the first thing we need to do once we're into the storage pool is to go into action. And from here, select the option, change RAID type. From here, it will list the available RAID configurations based on the available drives inside your system. Now, it's worth highlighting, I have done a video on this, you can actually have a RAID 1 with more than two disks on a Synology NAS. What simply happens is, what the extra drive you add will mirror one of the disks in the RAID 1 array and ultimately allow you to have synchronized disks of more than two quantities in a RAID 1. So do check out my video on that. But for now, we're looking at the RAID 5 option. And again, you can't convert from a RAID 1 into a RAID, 5, uh, RAID 6 immediately. You can only go RAIDs upwards one by one. If you're considering moving to a RAID 6 environment, you have to commit the RAID 5 configuration change first. We're going to move forward and click next and from here it will ask you to select the available initialized but unused drives in your host system in this case there's that drive that i've got installed ready for this raid 5 configuration migration from here click next and it will warn you that all the data on this disk is going to be wiped that shouldn't come as a huge surprise but remember it's only wiping the data on the drive you are adding not the raid array after that, click OK, and it will ask you to confirm the settings that you've set up so far, converting this RAID 1 into a RAID 5 by adding our brand new drive, and it will list the total capacity that's going to be available at the end. If you're happy with this, click Apply. And from here, it will now start to begin the migration procedure within the Synology NAS, whereby it's going to add this additional drive that we had into our brand new array. This storage allocation, of course, commits to the amount of data available within the storage pool. If we go to the hard drive and SSD storage area, we can see that drive. And we can also see, by going into the settings at the top, the storage pool creation happening in real time. As you can see, the adding drive will take a great length of time. This is not a quick procedure. And you will need to make sure your system stays on for at least a day, maybe even longer, depending on the size of the drives you have got in the original RAID configuration or in the new one. And bear in mind that if you do want to convert a RAID 1 into a RAID 5 using bigger drives, you will need to gradually replace each drive one after the other, allowing around a day for each operation to take place. But this has been how to change a RAID 1 into a RAID 5. 
based on the time this is going to take, and as you can see, we're up to a whopping 0 0.01 decimal um, place in terms of that percentage figure at the very least anyway. So this is going to take time. But I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do visit um, this channel again. Click like if you enjoyed this. Click subscribe to learn more and visit the NAS Compare link in the description for more information about how to change your storage pool volume and more in this analogy. And I'll see you next time.